What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below we are doing an empties video today. I've got some stuff piled up into my bin um, and it's also trash day so I need to get rid of this stuff anyways to make room for other empties that are trailing behind it. Um, so it's a mixture of just like beauty, skincare, candles, a bunch of different stuff that is in here. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. But for those of you who, who have been here before, but may have not been here before, well, you're about to learn the gist. So if you guys like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Sandra D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, this is your first time to my YouTube channel. I'd love for you guys to be a part of the hashtag Diva Fam. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below. I post videos two to three times a week. They are beauty, lifestyle, and makeup videos. Um, I also am part of a makeup challenge collab group. There's a hair in my face. Here on YouTube, I also do giveaways every other month. There will there are US, Open International, all that kind of stuff, jazz going on. I'm so close to 900 subscribers. By this time, hopefully this video goes up, I'm already there, and there's already another giveaway going on. And if I have any giveaways ever going on, they will be linked down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. And every single time I hit a 100 subscriber tier, I will always do more giveaways in that month um, on top of the giveaways I already do with my BoxyCharm Ipsy thing that I have. You, that, that, that's confusing. It's box. It's BoxyCharm by Ipsy. That makes uh, such odd sense. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this waste bin that I have here because I need to get rid of this stuff. I really do. Um, so, starting off, we've got some candles that are sitting up here. Two different candles that I have right here for us. Um, this one right here is the Party Pack Holiday Party um, Candle. I've actually had this in my collection for a little while, almost like half a year, a little bit over a year. I got this last time during um, Christmas time, or maybe I got this during like New Year's Eve. Somewhere around that time, but this is champagne, cranberry, and ginger. This is from the Walmart brand of candles. It was a wood wicking one. You guys can see in there. It is all the way down to the nubs. This one smelled amazing. Again, champagne, cranberry, and ginger. Perfect. Um, so that is a candle that if they have that again this year, I will definitely go ahead and repurchase. This is one that I got from TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Actually, it says Marshalls on the side. $7.99. Um, again, I use this one all the way down. This one was a really beautiful. Again, it, it's, it was a seasonal one. It says holly berries. So this one, I would repurchase this one too just because of the scent and the way that it smells. So refreshing, but I also love wood wicking candles compared to like the regular ones. Those just hit different. They just hit different. So there's that. There's another candle that is in here. This one, um, and I don't remember where I got this from. I doesn't have a tag on it, so I feel like I may have gotten this in a subscription box a while back and it was like, um, this is a candle, or maybe it was from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, because it said grapefruit acai, and it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell this, but the candle itself gives off no scent after that. Once you once you burn it, you don't smell it at all. So you can smell it in the jar, but it doesn't give off a scent whatsoever. So that was very disappointing. I would not repurchase it, that candle whatsoever. Is there another candle in here? Nope, that's the last of the candles. Um, a quick step to kind of go over you, which you guys have heard me talk about. These are the Kroger wipes. These are supposed to be a dupe for the Neutrogena ones, the makeup removing ones. This is the, also the one that helps with waterproof. I repurchase these all the time. They are amazing. So definitely worth the money instead of paying for the overpriced for the Neutrogena one. Then I've got a body cleanser that's in here. This is the Dove Body Acne Clear Body Cleanser Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment with Bamboo Extract. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I really saw a difference. Um, it is no parabens, no sulfates, all that kind of jazz. Um, it was a really big bottle. I think it was like buy one, get one half off when I got it or buy one, get one free. So that's why I purchased this one along with the other one that I'm currently using right now, which is like more of like an exfoliating one, body wash. It did smell good. I do like Dove on my skin. Um, I may repurchase it. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I still have the other one and I just opened that one like not that long ago and I like it. Um, this one really didn't have a smell to it. So it's like, eh. I don't know. I don't know if I've really repurchased that. Have any of you guys ever tried that one before? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As for some other cleansers and stuff going on, we have the Bior Witch Hazel. Pore Clarifying Cooling Cleanser. You guys know I love this. This is a classic. It is a classic. I've repurchased this so many times since I was in college, 
when my acne was horrible and this just feels amazing on the skin if you've never tried this before you should um, because that cooling sensation with the salicylic acid and the acne treatment definitely helps and it helps especially around that time of the month when you've got pimples that just pop up out of nowhere that is one of the most annoying things ever in my life um, I extremely hate it so there's that there are some empties that are sitting over here that I forgot that were in there so um, and then next we have the uh, Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel. This is the rose one. I definitely would like to repurchase this, but I have a few other toners I'm currently using right now. But I did love the way this felt on my face. This also has an aloe vera formula at the same time, too. Very affordable. I will say it's actually more affordable to pick it up from TJ Maxx or Marshalls because this is $6 compared to, like, the actual regular price. I think it's more like $10. So you're saving some coin. You're saving $4. So if you can find it there, I would definitely say go ahead and pick that up for a toner if you've never tried on a toner. And they also have a milky toner that I really want to try out. It's supposed to help, like, with more hydration and moisturization to your skin. So if I can find that, I would definitely pick it up. Then I've got these two right here. Finally finished these off. These are the Barogio Superfood um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I picked these up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I believe. Um, and this is in the Mango Cherry Bouncing Shampoo. I don't remember what the significance of these are. It just says, um, for all types that have hardness, heart, harness the power of da 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 da. Um, helps balance oil production, antioxidant rich fruit, support healthy looking hair and scalp. So again, it's just supposed to be a balancing one um, for like if you've got oily hair, this is what that's for. I don't have oily hair. I actually have more like, well, depends. I don't know. But I did really like it. It smelled delicious. I don't know if it really did anything truly for my hair. I'm going to be honest. Um, but I did finish these up. I do believe that these are slightly overhyped because they are expensive so I would not repurchase those unless I found them on sale again at maybe like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and then we have a hair mask this is the rose quartz hair mask it's just a generic random hair mask I got from um, one of my boxy charms and I did use it all the way up it smelled okay I'm gonna be honest I wasn't a big fan of the scent um, it did though condition my hair like it's supposed to um, it did its job, that's all I can say. I wouldn't repurchase it though because there's some other better hair masks that are out there that I would prefer instead. Here's another empty, so we're gonna go ahead and move on from that. Um, okay, what other skincare stuff do we have in here? So I have the H2O Tarte Drink H2O. This is basically like one of those gel cleans or not gel cleansers, wow. Um, gel hydrating boosters. It's supposed to be like the Tarte's dupe for the Neutrogena one that came out first, I think, I think. Um, but this is actually really good. I really do like this. I already have a backup of it because I got it in my BoxyCharm. Um, would I repurchase it after this? I don't know because I need to compare the prices. I need to compare the prices and see which one has a better price value. So there's that. Then we have this. This is the uh, Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whip Cream by Saturday Skin. This is actually the second time I've had this because um, I got it in a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy again. Um, and I used all of it. It smells so good. And it feels amazing on the skin. If I knew, if I could find out what the price of this is, and if I can get it so at an affordable cost, if I can find it like in the Ipsy store, then I will definitely re be repurchasing this. But I have so many other stuff behind me that I get from these subscription boxes. Um, you guys can see the drawers and stuff behind me. That it might be a while before I actually get that again. But if it's an option for me to pick it again, I'm gonna pick it. That's that's for damn sure. That is for sure. Um, this is just a dud. I'm going to talk about this. I got this from Teemu. It was supposed to be like a dupe for the Dior one. Uh, if you guys can see like the color scheme. And it was very cheap and inexpensive and it sucked. So, passing on that. We're going to keep going. Um, some other skincare stuff that's in here. I have multiples of these. These are the Mario Badescu like facial sprays. I love these. I swear by these. These are amazing. Um, I know that there is some discussions that people don't like these. I don't know if it's because of the ingredients or whatever is in it. Um, I've never done fully my research on these, but I love them and I love the way that they feel on my skin. And I'm almost finished with this big bottle. So, and I've gone through multiples of these little bottles. So, there's that. Then I have this uh, Volition Strawberry Brightening Serum with Vitamin C. This is actually really, really good. I did enjoy this. It does have a little bit left in it. I didn't notice that. Um, but I, this is supposed to be like a dupe for like a, a glow recipe. I don't know what the price is on it, 
But if I this was if this is more affordable than the Glow Recipe one, then yes, I would pick this up because it actually it felt so good on the skin, so nourishing, so hydrating. Um, I've got some sprays here. This is the Stay All Nighter Micro Fine Setting Spray by Elf. I love this. I've used it all. I definitely will be in the future repurchasing this, but I have so many setting sprays behind me that I need to use this first before I repurchase another setting spray. So, but this is a really great one. So if you want a drugstore setting spray, this one is great and has a really good fine mist and sets the face very, very well. Then I've got this. This is the Playa Mono Milk Leave-In Conditioner. So this was bought by the brand that like, owned by the same brand that like parents over Morphe. Um, I'm gonna say I this was okay, it wasn't great. Um, I definitely have some better leave-in conditioners that actually detangled my hair that helped out with like frizziness, all that kind of stuff. So I did end up using this all the way up with in combination with like the other ones that I had, but I would not repurchase this one at all. It was it wasn't it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Um, I've got some contact solution in here. I go back and forth between a few different brands between the Pure Moist Opt Free or Renew. Um, those are both my favorite ones, but I love that. So I have already repurchased this. I just buy it in a two pack. So there's that. Then we have the Secret PH Shower Fresh. I have switched over to Dove actually recently. Um, and this said it was an invisible solid. It's, it was not an invisible solid. I could still see it on like some of my black clothing. So I will not be repurchasing that one. That's for sure. That's for sure. Then we've got some mascaras that are in here that I can see. What else do we have? Some mascaras. Um, the Tresemme Dry Shampoo. I really did like this one, but you know, your girl is a Batiste girl. Um, this one did smell really good and it is a little bit, it does, it says no, oh my god, no visible residue meant for all hair types. They all leave residue, let's be honest. They all leave residue. So, um, but this one did smell really, really good. So, just so you know, if you guys are interested in this, it says, it's still going to leave residue, but it smells really great. So, would I repurchase that in the future? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Trust the Batiste ones are a little bit better. So, I definitely will be going for those a little bit more. Um, another setting spray that's in here really quickly is the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I love this. I've repurchased this like maybe three times since it's come out and I will still repurchase this somewhere in the future because the mist changed the game when it came out if you guys remember that. Um, but this is a dewy finish so more or less during the summertime. I love the dewy finishes. So definitely maybe I'll probably repurchase that at some point next year. Um, there's that. I do have another candle in here that was hiding at the very bottom. It says, my last fuck, oh look, it's on fire. This is a really funny candle that I got for my fiance, and it's by the brand, I don't know, uh, blazecandleco.com. It smells really good, and the saying on it is hilarious. Um, but obviously, it, this was a more expensive candle compared to candles I can buy from TJ Maxx and Marshalls or even sometimes the Bath and Body Works. So I probably would not repurchase that candle um, just because of it, it's, you know, I can't get it right away. So that's a reason why I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Then I've got some other stuff that's right here. So I've got three mascaras. I've got two brow products that are right here for us. So Rapid Fire, this is the e.l.f. This is the cheaper e.l.f. one, the $3 one. It's just too chubby. It doesn't do anything. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, and it was very dry. You can't do hair-like strokes, so this don't waste your money on this. Or if you want to give this to your kid to experiment with, then maybe that. But like, that's more or less like a beginner child type of brow product compared to this one, which is the fine one, which is by the one size. This is in black brown. I loved this. I used this all the way up. But my LA Color one, the slim one, is a dupe and like is just as great and it's like a third of the cost so I'm sorry one size I love you but I will not be repurchasing this because it's it's not worth it when I've got a drugstore dupe at the same time too for the price tag then we've got these three mascaras in here so I've got the waterproof lash princess mascara didn't like this it didn't hold a curl whatsoever it is not waterproof this this is a lie this is a lie essence has a way better other um, waterproof one which is supposed to be a dupe for the better than mascara and that's a great one so don't pick up this one pick up the other one that is actually blue then we have the milani uh high rated lash extension tubing mascara this is supposed to be a dupe for the thrive mascara this was not at all it sucked um and then it also crumbled all over the place so don't waste your money on this it did not work 
didn't do anything it was supposed to do. So, oh, I just hit myself in the face. The Thrive one is 10 times better. That's what I get for talking shit about it. But at the same time, it sucks. Then I have this one. This is the Lawless, the one and done mascara. I didn't like the wand. The wand, just it's it's not... The bristles aren't long, long enough. The formula clumps all over the wand. Um, and then when you go to put it on your lashes, it just, it gets all clumpy. It's, it wasn't great. Not the best formula at all whatsoever. Um, I have the e.l.f., the cheap liner, the one that's supposed to be like, has the felt tip to it. Or no, this is the one that has the brush. It sucked. It wasn't great. There's better liners that are out there. The one by NYX is like 10 times better. So there's that. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, this, I think I've talked about this in the past. This is the e.l.f brow lift the one that's a dupe for the freeze i don't know what happened to mine can you guys see that i don't it dried out so apparently this dries out really quickly um it'll stay clear for like not that long and then it is it is done so so you don't really get that long of a use out of this compared to the the brow freeze that won't do that um and then somehow this opened up in here somewhere this is the dragon beauty um green whatever corrector I didn't really like this formula, but I also had it for a while, so yeah, I just I just was not was not a fan of it whatsoever. There's probably some better ones that are out there for sure. Um, so there's that. Then we have the Elf, or not the Elf. I'm sorry, the Wet and Wild Incognito Wet and Wild uh, concealer. I didn't like this consistency. Some people say they like it, some people don't. I this is supposed to be an all full coverage concealer. Actually, I didn't really see full coverage in this one whatsoever. And it really left my under eyes looking very cakey and creasy. So I was not, not a fan of that one. Um, and then two more things that are left in here. I've got the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. Another water gel. I did end up using this one all the way up. Um, this was really good, but the price point on this, I, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Like I said, there's other water gels that are out there. Um, like, like I said earlier, the one for Neutrogena or the Tarte one, which I like 10 times better. So yes to those no to that one because of the price tag but it was still good um and then we have the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted moisturizer i love this moisturizer so so much um but i've just had it in my collection a really really long time and also it's not my shade it's in light 8n um and this is even like lighter than even when i'm not tan at the moment so it's a great tinted moisturizer but it's like again it's very sheer. It's not very buildable. So the other one that I really am loving right now at the moment is the Maybelline one, the tinted, um, the skin tint. And this one is amazing um, with more of like a medium coverage, but still looks like skin. That's actually what's on my face right now at the moment. And there is a video coming out with this makeup look. So if you guys are interested and if it's already out, I'll have a link down below. If it's not out, it's coming soon. So that was everything that was in this bin of craziness. And now it is all over my floor and all over my desk, but it is trash day. So we're going to get rid of these empties. Um, but that is the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Again, don't forget to get... Uh, bleh. I can't talk sometimes. Again, don't forget to go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts in the... Down below. You know what I was trying to say. So that's the end of this video. I love you guys so, so much. So I will see you guys in the next one. Before that, you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, give the video a big thumbs up because it helps me so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!